Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, we're going to look at how to automate VST plugins inside of Ableton Live. The first thing that we need to do is obviously have a VST plugin loaded on one of our tracks. We're going to be using Massive, but you could use any type of plugin, whether it's a synth or a compressor or a reverb. So we're going to go ahead and add Massive to a new MIDI channel by simply double clicking on Massive in our plugin devices browser. Now when it loads up, you'll see that there are a ton of different parameters. So many, in fact, that Ableton Live doesn't display them in the audio effects section by default. So we're going to go ahead and choose the parameters that we want to automate. Then we're going to go down to Massive in the audio device section. Then we're going to press this triangle button to unfold the device parameters. Now you can see that right now we do not have any selected. So we're going to go ahead and then click on this configure button. When it turns green, you then have the option of selecting which parameters you would like to automate. We'll go ahead and simply select a couple of random ones here and then click configure. So now that we've added these four different parameters, we're going to go and exit out of the plugin window and switch over to the arrangement view. When we're in the arrangement view, we can then open up this particular track and under Massive, you can see that we have these four different parameters that we can automate. For example, if I wanted to automate oscillator three position, I can select that and then add in any type of automation points that I would like. Now, if you want, you can always get rid of the automation. You can always right click on the parameter and then select delete automation. Alternatively, if you would like to remove the entire parameter, you can once again click the configure button and select the parameter that you would like to remove and then click delete. It's important to note that if you delete the device from the parameters section, you will be deleting all of the automation. So you want to make sure that you only delete the particular parameters that you are no longer using or no longer wish to use. For more videos on Ableton Live, visit youtube.com slash the DJ podcast or the DJ Thanks for watching.